Hey guys, it's Friday, February 19th. Guess what day it is? I just told you, ha! No, it's day 17. 17 days I've been on this low carb diet. Give me a moment. Um, real quick, first off, I learned something the other day. There's my boss. Um, I'll get back with you. That wasn't my boss. But uh, we're waiting for him to show up. Bring me some deer jerky, yeah. But back at it, man. Um, I learned a few things that I wish I already known. One is the, the low carb diet, you can ingest 50 to 150 grams of carbs a day. And that's not what we're about. Um, we can get there, we can do that. But no, we're doing a keto and it's supposed to be under 20 grams. And some people say under 15, but I put under 25. Um, but no, we'll, uh, so we'll stay on this up to six weeks. Um, right now, the first, it takes up to three weeks, sometimes a full four weeks before your body your metabolism of your body switches around to burning, or not burning, to using the, the fat for energy and leaving your sugar alone. This causes your insulin levels to drop in your body, which is a good thing from what I'm hearing. Just remember, I'm not a doctor. Uh, this just should not be taken as any type of medical advice. As for all diets that you find online, consult with your doctor first. So don't sue me. <laughs> but yeah, once you've got with your doctor, we can get this going. Um, but no, you want to, you lower that insulin, that in turn causes your body to be like, oh crap, we don't, we're not using sugar anymore. Look at all this fat. And it burns, it burns the fat. I keep saying burns like it's burning it. But you know, it uses it for energy, which is great. I mean, awesome, right? Uh, the ketones that are released, I just found out one of the ketones is actually in coconut oil. I don't know how that works as far as cooking it, but I know it doesn't oxidize, so yeah. Think about that for a second. And there's a whole thing about caffeine that does something weird too. But that's another thing I want to talk about. We're going to have to discuss addictions. Now I have a really bad addiction. It's called overeating. It's called... I don't really know what it's called other than that, but I like to eat. Um, you know, and I've been working on it big time. It's usually sweet stuff or carbs that I do that with. Now that I've cut most of that out, although I had a handful of M&Ms yesterday, we still didn't bump my carbs over at all. Um, and by handful, I mean like eight. Uh, you know, I got a bunch of kids, got family, you know, everybody's, nobody's on the diet except for me. So it's really hard and that's just an excuse. But at the same time, I'm not taking any special pills, I'm not doing any potions or any powders. I'm literally just, what I'm telling you is what I'm eating. Like today, this morning, because now we're starting work even later for probably forever, dang it. Used to, go, used to go in at five, now I come in at 10. Still waiting, by the way. But I made bacon this morning. All right, that's my fat. Remember we were talking about needing more fat. And freshly fried up cod. Wild caught Atlantic cod. We're gonna be eating on that, or Pacific cod. You know, Pacific from Alaska, that's the, uh, we're gonna be eating on that too. And then my regular cheese sticks and stuff like that. You know, all the good stuff. There's another uh, tundra, that one's sexy, red one. If I had a red tundra, I would black out all the chrome, but since I got a gray tundra, I've seen them blacked out, and I, or grayed out, you know, my collar match, I just don't like that. So we're gonna stick with the collar that it is but you know you can check out Vert's videos for more about the tundra <laughs> um, so that's what I've got to eat today and a bunch of water and I brought my water thing don't forget back to the addiction I have a caffeine addiction I have a sugar addiction which I'm killing thank God um, the caffeine addiction which causes triggers like overeating worry you know I'm, I'm gonna eat just to fill you know so I'm gonna have to stop drinking coffee, guys. Today I've only had, I went from 14 to 16 ounces to probably eight, eight ounces of coffee today. Um, I'm gonna have to quit because I, I, I 
can't explain it. But it does help curb the hunger, but so does ice cold water. And by the way, the pro tip I gave you guys the other day, get you a cup of ice. Keep that handy, gallon of water. Uh, luckily where I'm going has a water thing, so I'll just fill up my water bottles again, right there. Check that out too, and some shippers they'll have even this whole pandemic thing, but they might still have their water things open. Not the fountains, but the actual thing where you're supposed to put a bottle in. Do that, they're, they're awesome. Good filtered water. But yeah, back to the addictions. I also, you're gonna make fun of me about this, um, but I also have a nicotine addiction, right? That, I feel would be a billion times harder than quitting everything I already have. Uh, caffeine comes second, you know, sugar third, the little taste thing. I love taste, you know, I love food. Hey, who doesn't love food? That's why we're, that's why we're in this fat suit right now. But yeah, we're gonna work on addictions too. That's the big deal. Um, here's, here's the weird thing. Now, someone I know, she had a major drug addiction, okay? This is someone I've known since a long time, you know what I mean? And sort of a close friend, but you, know, you can't be too close to people like that without getting in trouble yourself. So, uh, she, she beat that. She's six years sober, has a very good career, and uh, she can't stay on keto. And she just can't do it. There's no, she quit smoking cigarettes, guys. And, and she cannot quit carbs. And I'm like, man, the willpower it takes to quit smoking cigarettes and, and a drug addiction, to just say, nope, I'm done, but you can't quit eating carbs? <laughs> like, I so I understand y'all's pain, man. It's hard, it's gotta be hard. It's anything you want in life, you don't get it easy. It's, it's, it's not worth it if it comes easy, really. You wanna, you wanna work for it. This is, it's the whole thing about, God, I'm not gonna get politi pol political, political, but you know, if you give Americans money and be like, work or don't, I, in a way it sounds awesome, but another way it's like, what else are you gonna do? You know, that's, that gets old. I've been on unemployment for like two months one time, and, uh, Looking for a job was a full-time job for me, but it was awful after like the first week. Oh no, I just feel like I need to do something to um, feel good about myself, maybe. To feel like I am I have a reason, right? You know what I mean? And that's another thing. I watched a guy called Bear Independent. I suggest you look him up on YouTube. He's great. Um, he's very religious, but he doesn't ram it down your throat, you know? And it's not even about religion, really. It's more about hey be ready you know there could be an ice storm that takes out power for a week or two you're gonna be laughing at this guy who's got food stored in five gallon buckets with kevlar liners mylar liners i'm sorry you're gonna laugh at him and be like look at that paranoid screwball and then next thing you know you're knocking on his door because your family's starving because you didn't prepare for the worst that's kind of what this is all about with him and it's awesome to watch because you want to be prepared you know but back to the thing about addiction we're gonna stop it we're gonna get out of this fat suit. We're gonna do it together. Um, if you want more support, Patreon guys, that's that's probably where most of these videos are gonna to go to because, you know, the first initial thing, like right now, I don't know if I should put this on YouTube or cut it. I think what I'll do is cut it and be like, hey, it's day 14 a.m., this is what I got to eat, and then just cut it, you know, maybe. And then this is the Patreon only stuff. But yeah, if you wanna support me or anything like that, that's the best way to do it. Make sure you like, subscribe check out the very first couple videos um you know that i got a whole playlist on this so check that out and together we are dad bods redefined thanks